Hi everyone, so today I'm just going to be going over some of the stuff I got today. I'm kind of thinking about doing just like a Christmas in general video. It's going to be like a combination of like opening, going over what I've got. I'm probably not just going to open them, but just kind of going over what I got and then storing them because I already filmed my uh, December videos and I want to be ready for my collection update at the beginning of the year. So I think this is a good alternative. So I'll just go through stuff in order. First, I'll have like what I got. This is today's Christmas Eve, and I visited some of my relatives today, so just going through what I got with that, and then I'll go through what I got for mail. So I did get quite a bit of mail today. So first up, I just got this Eyes One album. It came with these two little freebies. So I'm actually super excited about this. It is one of the versions I needed, but um. I already went through my pulls, but this is the last Cheon card I needed for this version. So I cannot believe that I got it. It's insane. So I'm super happy about that. But I got Yudi's big postcard. So I'll put this back in here. And then I got Hitomi's diamond postcard thingy. And then I got, where's the mini card? Nako. I got Nako's mini card. And obviously I got this Cheon card. And then I got two Minju. So I got this one and this one. These are those. And I got Heiwon. And I got Sakura. These cards are so cute. I really wish I could collect OT12, but too much money. Yeah, so just click flip through. This album is so pretty. The colors are really nice. So yeah, that's up for the first item. Yeah, so I'm just going to do that. And then I also got both Hard Eyes Kinos. So I, I literally love this one. It's so pretty in person. The holographic. So I'll just do a very quick, this is what the front looks like. Back. Front. Back. Then here's the photo card set for the... Um, Violetta version. So these are so pretty. I think I want to keep OT12 just because, you know, they're so pretty. And, um, but I might change my mind. I already have this Cheon, so I'm probably just going to sell it, but super cute. I'm really happy I have them. Oh my gosh, family is being really loud. I'm sorry. And then next up is the mail I got for today. It's kind of boring, but I did get a lot of supplies. So I got Polaroid top loader, which some good news on that part, but I'm probably going to keep it a secret until it arrives. Got some more sleeves, just I ran out. I got these card stands. They got nothing special. And I got a bunch of envelopes. <laughs> Again, nothing too special. But um, now up to the photo cards I got today. So first I got Jay He's Make Star. This is super cute. And I got this Polaroid from We Can. So I'm almost done with this set. I'm really excited about that. And then I got these fan-made cards. So super cute. Yeah. So that's everything for today. I will probably have another clip for tomorrow, which is Christmas Day. And I'll probably upload this on Christmas or the day after. So yeah, that's everything for this clip. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Okay, so I'm back because I totally forgot. I said I was going to store my photo cards in this video as well. I'm so used to just opening stuff and then putting it away to store later. So just got all this here. This um, here, these aren't of my bias, so I'm not going to be storing those. And then these as well, this as well. So these are going to be set to the side. But other than that, this is everything. I don't know what I want to do with my Kino cards yet. I'm probably going to do that off camera, but I've got weekly. This card I actually need to store, but the rest of these, this one I don't need as e either. But I don't know. I think I want to make like, I want to keep these, the, the Kino cards, but again, I'm probably going to do that off camera just because um, I don't know what I do yet. Maybe I'll just think about it and then record another clip for me doing it on camera. But yeah, I've just got these, so I'm going to leave these two Cheon cards. Still cannot believe I got this card when it's the last one I needed for that album version. 
And I've got these two weekly cards, which are going to be going in the box because I'm not ready for that video yet. I'm waiting on someone to send something out. It's taking a while, so that kind of sucks, but it's a lot of cards, so can't do it without. Those are just going to go away for now. And then I've got these fan-made cards, which do go in my Dreamcatcher official binder, so they are going to get these sleeves. This is the right way up, yeah. I'm not used to leaving my cards on camera. So yeah, I just have these couple cards to put away. Let's start off with this binder, which just posted. Today is Christmas Eve still, so I posted that video today of me sorting this binder. So this card goes here, looking good. And I do have a copy of the Sapphire version album on the way. So hopefully I get that soon. Uh, then I have this card here. Oop. So yeah, super excited about that. And moving on to the next binder. I just have this binder for the Dreamcatcher fan-made cards. So these are going back these were before, I think. You're still OT6. These are going to go right here. Yeah, I was really surprised. I thought they were going to be like, after looking at Dami's and Kahyun's, I was like, oh, cute. They're going to be like colored, like specifically member colored and stuff. But then the rest were just kind of purple. So, like, these look super, like, stark. Is that the right word? Compared to the rest of them. So, that was pretty confusing, but it might have just been, like, a coloring thing. Like, oh, you know, the hair is blue, so the card looks blue. That doesn't exactly make sense, but... Yeah, that's everything I needed to store for today. But I might stop here and then make another clip for my Eyes 1 Kino cards. So, I guess you'll see if I do that in this clip or not in just a minute. So if this is everything, I'll see you guys in the next clip. And if not, again, I'll see you in the next clip. Hey everyone, so I'm back again and I decided to store these. And it's kind of strange, but I actually am gonna take Cheon's Kinos out of here. And then I'll reorganize this in a minute, but just, I think I'm just gonna put the Kinos in as an OT12 set, cause they just look so nice and I would like some OT12 stuff. As much as I love OT12 Eyes 1, I can't really afford to collect them, so. I can at least keep my Kino sets. So I did take a second and put these all in age order. Because rank order is bad. We don't like rank order. So I'm just leave these. I'll probably speed this part up after I'm done talking. It's a little boring, but. Okay, and I did go back and I usually I put my cards facing outwards for the sideways ones, but um, this Yuri card looked so weird upside down because she's like kind of facing downwards, so I just went and switched everything around. But yeah, I think I'm just gonna do a six, 
a three and three layout, which is, I pref honestly, I prefer it more than the two, two, two layout. So, got my sleeves. Now, pro after this video, I'll probably go through and like spread out my Eyes Wanted Itsy collections like I was talking about in my setting up this binder video, if you haven't seen it already. It should be posted, I mean, it is posted as of when I'm recording this. So how this layout works is one, two, three, and then like this. One, two, three. So yeah, I do like it. Um, in fact, I'm like one, two, three, Four, five. There's actually six sideways cards. So some of you think this might think this is really gross, but I'm actually gonna take all the sideways members and put them on a page together. Cause like then it won't be like sideways and upwards. Because the backs, especially the fact that the backs are sideways, bother me so much. Like this. So I'll probably put the sideways page se second, but I think that's gonna work out better because I kind of hate that half of them are sideways. So, yeah. Oh, that doesn't go there. These pages are a little tight for my white sleeves, but they'll probably just flatten out. And then we got the sideways set right here. So yeah, it's kind of weird that they're not in age order, but I think it's just for the better. Yes, and all these are facing the same way. It's kind of weird because I'm so used to them facing outwards, but it doesn't look as weird on the backs. So now we have the sapphire set. But to these, I can put in age order because none of them are gross and sideways. At least to respect that they gave us six and six. It's not like, oh, here's one that's sideways. Like, that would have been gross. And white sleeves. Yeah, so this is going to be kind of a strange video because it's like a combination of a bunch of videos, but just trying to get prepared for my end of the year collection update. So I'm probably gonna do quite a bit of stuff off camera just to prepare for that. Try organizing this binder a little bit, probably. But I do have all of next week off of both work and school. So that's going to be good for filming a bunch of videos. So yeah, that's it. And we've got first page, second page, third and fourth. I actually like that quite a bit. That's really nice. So yeah, that is actually going to be all for this day, I guess, for this clip. So I'll see you guys tomorrow in my next clip. Bye. Hi everyone. So today I'm just going to be going over um, some stuff I got. Today is Christmas, so I'm just going to be going over some of the K-pop related stuff I got because it'd be kind of pointless to go through the rest. So First up, I got my One Realer albums. So when these released, like there was a ton of stuff releasing, so I was like, I can't afford these. So I did ask for them. And I already went through my polls and everything, but I'm just gonna like recap. So for scene one, I got actually got Chan's cover card, which I'm super excited about. And then I got, I'm just gonna take out my polls. Teach the side for now. I got Yena's clear card. Um, here. Yena. Got this adorable Unbi card. Seriously, I'm so, like, I wish I could collect two members this era. She's just so gorgeous. She's definitely my bias wrecker. And I got this Nako selfie. And then I got this Sakura AR card. And I also got Sakura's little postcard thingy. 
And there's the ticket and the film card. So that's all for scene one. And then next to scene two, in which I got Minju's cover card, Minju. And then get all my poles. I got this Yurdi card, selfie. And I got this One Young AR. And this Heiwon selfie. And then I got Knuckles film. So, oh yeah, and then Sakura's sticker. So I got a lot of Sakura. And then the ticket and the film card. So, last up, I got Knuckles cover card. And then I don't know if the poster was random, but I got this one. So, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's just a regular double-sided poster. Then I actually got a Cheon card for this version. My only Cheon card. But I did get her cover card and something else that I'm very excited about. There's that. The poster. I got this Hitomi. Cheon, yay. Ticket, film, oh, the film, whatever it's called. And I got this gorgeous Unbi AR card. I am seriously so tempted to keep her cards, but I need to finish Cheon. I'm so sad. And then I got One Young. So yeah, that's my one reeler albums. And then of course, since I got all three versions, I got the period of benefit. This is so cute. I'm gonna struggle to get everything in frame. So I am going to keep the full set, so I'll just, I'm sure there's an unboxing of these out already, so I'll just go through them pretty quickly. My lighting is really bad. I'm seriously so tempted to collect Undi this era as well. She's just so gorgeous. The backs are just their signatures. I wouldn't say this is my favorite Cheon card, but it's quite cute. Oh, she looks so good here. One young. And so, yeah, that's the pre order cards. So I'm just going to set these over here. And then I also got the Kino. So I'll just go through those postcards real quick as well. So, quick unboxing. There's a little ad thingy. Cover card, nice holographic. Group card. Here's the Kino. So I'm just gonna set these aside. So I'm just gonna go through these real quick. Just has their name on the back. So Unbi. I love Cheon cards, they're so pretty. Sorry if the light's really bad, but I feel, it feels really dark, but I don't know if that's just like my phone's brightness being low. They're seriously so pretty, I love them. These close-up ones are just stunning. Really great quality. Kinos are so much fun because like, there's nothing random. Cause it's not super expensive. So yeah, that's the Kino cards. So I'm just gonna put these back in the Kino. And then I also got another Kino which this one I did not know about. My sister picked out the Blue Eyes Kino for me, which is awesome because that's the one Kino. I don't plan on getting the Colorized Kino because like they're really expensive and overpriced and stuff, but I was looking for this one. So got the cover card, group card, and then it's just the Kino itself. Quick run through these. So cute. But yeah, this last thing after this, I'm seriously just so shocked. So, that's really pretty. I need to order more four pockets because I wasn't expecting these. Because I do want to keep the OT12 sets. There we go. So, super happy with those. And there's Kino, so, and the last thing, I might, 
I don't really think I can make space for, but yeah, I got the one day photo book. So I was seriously so shocked when I opened this. I literally have like never really seen it before. I haven't really seen an unboxing. I haven't really seen it for sale, but our store got some late stock stuff is what I was told. So I'm just gonna set this down here and I open it up. I got Shay on. How crazy is that? Like, seriously, this would have been absolute misery to find if I didn't pull her. So, yeah, I cannot believe I got Che on. It's absolutely insane. Like, a 1 in 12 chance for something that seems quite rare is just insane. But this photo book is so pretty. Like, I've literally never seen it before. But I'm super happy with it. I it was a total surprise. So... Reminds me of the um, Hello Soul photo book from NCT 127. Just like super high quality photos. So I'm really happy with, like, wow. She's so gorgeous. So yeah, I am super happy to add this to my collection. And I probably won't like show, I'll just probably put them on my shelves, but inclusion wise, I am gonna be storing everything that I can today. Like AKA everything that's of my bias and stuff since I literally only got eyes one stuff which is awesome I'm not complaining you'll see in my last clip too I only got eyes one stuff but they are definitely my newest collection and I asked a lot for them alas a lot from them so super excited I have all this so I don't know what I want to I'll probably just like keep my cover cards in the album for now so the albums go to the side I don't think I have space for the Kino card, so I am just going to take them out for now. So yeah, I actually have the um, One Eric Kino. No, I ordered the One Eric Kino. I am really out of it right now. I ordered it with my weekly season's greetings. So those already shipped out, so those should be here soon. But I do need to order four pockets for these, so I don't think I'm going to be able to store them today. But I want to set these to the side, but they are in my pile for next time. But these I think I can store for the most part today. So here's my Eyes One binder. I really enjoyed collecting them so far. I'm really happy I decided to do it again. I actually did collect Cheyenne quite a while ago, but when I was doing my major downsizing for um, Dreamcatcher, I ended up dropping them. I'm really glad I kept my cards, though, so that I could collect her again one day. I'm going to go through and grab all my photo cards. Yeah, I think that's all my photo cards. So most of these aren't of my bias, but these full set I'm keeping. Yeah, I just got one Cheon card. So these are going to go to the side. Got this full set. One Cheon card. Doing the right one. So here are my clear sleeves. I'm gonna sleeve up these real quick. But I'm probably gonna go to my hard eyes, uh, yeah, hard eyes kinos so that I can get them in age order. I do not know their age order yet. I was one as a group that I really like. I was I'm really sure of my bias, so it's not like a question of like, oh, who's my bias. But I do love all the members a lot. But I'm definitely a Shea on bias, so that's a nice feeling to know for sure who my bias is. Is this already an age order? I don't know if this is already an age order. It might be. Because I know Cheon is third, I think. But she's fifth in here, never mind. This is definitely not an age order. So I will just reference. My hard eyes kinos. I would speed this part up, but I'm talking, so sorry you have to sit through this. Yeah, I hope everyone's having a nice holidays and enjoying their break. So oh right, these are out of order, so it's this page I would look at. So is this an order? It's Eugen. Yuri. 
You can be, no, it's a little out of order. Okay, or maybe I got the age order wrong. Maybe I did get the age order wrong. Um, yeah, because this goes here. Never mind, Chan's not third, she's fifth. So these are in order. I just, right, I just got two of the members back here switched around. So it was, these two I think are switched. So I'm gonna do that right now, actually. I'm gonna switch these around. Yeah, I'll double check that after this video, but it does seem like I messed that up. So, got the pre-order cards, and then I've just got one Cheon card. So I'll probably, I might have to pull out my template to see which one it is, but just getting forward to my one reeler section. This is the scene number three. I do not know if this is A or B, though. So I'm going to check that real quick. Okay, so the template I used has this as the A version, so I'm just going to stick that there. Of course, I can do some reorganizing if that is like incorrect, but these are for the special photo cards, so these are gonna oh, maybe use the wrong way. Yeah, I do put I do use the Ultra Pro ones, so I just have the sticker on the back. I don't know why I thought Cheyenne was third. Yeah, I'm really happy I decided to keep these sets, they're so cute. I don't know how I'm gonna store my larger items yet. Because I was going, I did plan out for it, but then I was like, wait, no. And then I took everything out. But now I need to store it again, so. Probably just go run and grab a page or two. This page is like cracked or something. There we go. So I think this is the correct order, but I might need to go back and fix it. Because I did get Two of the members switched around. So yeah, there's that page. There's that page. And then this is for the special cards. Um, these would go back here. All right, so I'll probably, I'm gonna grab a two pocket real quick. Okay, so I do have some one pockets and a two pocket here. Um, I don't have any good pockets for the tickets, so I was thinking of just putting these like this. It's kind of gross, but just for now. Because I don't have like the film cards or anything yet. So yeah, I might just secure these better later, but. So scene one. Yeah, this is kind of gross, but I gotta do what I gotta do. And then scene two. This is scene two. And scene three. So that's the wrong side. One up the front side. Okay, and then I think I am just gonna use a two pocket anyway for, I've got the sticker set, but I don't have Cheyenne yet, so I'm just gonna stick it in here for now. Gonna do have the film cards, but I'll probably get put those in a four pocket or something, as well as this. So I did get Sakura for both of these, so I'm just gonna stick them in here. And then I got this gorgeous Cheyenne postcard, which you guys saw. Please tell me it fits. It fits. Okay, so that's perfect. I might. Would be weird to face it the other way. I'm gonna face it the other way because it just does look kind of weird. So it just like perfectly fits. And the film cards I'll get a four pocket for. I'm just gonna stick this poster back here. It's not amazing, but I can definitely fix it up later. So yeah. And the film cards I'll have to get Cheyenne for still. Those are going to a four pocket. 
Hi everyone. So I'm back just filming one more clip for this video. I know I keep saying I'm gonna end it, but I'm not because I keep forgetting that I'm doing everything in one video now for just for this time. And you might notice that the angle's a bit different because I got a tripod, which is pretty awesome. So like, boom, tripod. So super excited to try this out because previously I've been using a stack of books, which falls on me quite often. So yeah, I'm really excited to use this. It is a bit tilted, but I think that's the best I'm gonna get. So I did just figure out that this the cases fit in eight pockets. So I've just got the blue eyes, mini card cases, and then the one reeler. My arm, I feel like I'm trying to figure out this angle, but my arms are really weird. Like in this angle, so they look really big. So I'm just trying to figure things out at the moment. So yeah, just, ooh, yeah, I'm gonna have to watch that as well. Just have the card cases and then I'll have the Kino cards. I'll probably just stick the Kino cards right here actually. Just the, um, the cover cards and stuff. Cause I do have one Eric on the way, but it is not here yet. So I'll do the same thing I have as Dreamcatcher. Or I'll have a page of cover cards and then then go into the actual keynote cards. I feel like I need to like sit down while I'm doing this so I don't look as, my arms don't look as big. I'm going to kneel on the ground and see if this helps at all. So this would go right here. Is that correct? Yeah, so I think that's a little less weird if I like kneel on the ground. So I'm just kind of testing things out right now. So yeah, um, that's gonna be all for today. Actually, like I'll probably at the end of like every single one of these clips, I said like, oh, this is all for today. So I'll probably go tr try and clip that out, but like I might not be able to. So yeah, I just wanted to try out try that out. I'm really excited to film some more videos for you guys over this these next couple days. So yeah, look forward to it, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.